Uh, welcome to Agile India 2017. I'm here with Joy Montello Fitzharris, and um, you're with Target, and this is your second year at the Agile India conference. Yes. Uh, welcome. Thanks. Um, so you just had a, a, did a talk here at the conference uh, with your experiences at Target, uh, specifically around connecting our development teams you know, and giving them a sense of empathy for, uh, for the users. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, really what we've learned as a part of our agile transformation is how important it is for us to actually be getting inside of the shoes and the worlds uh, to understand better and really share in the context of our users to experience the pain and the needs firsthand so that we're delivering solutions that are really effective and valuable and impactful. And you have a data background, and so uh, you've really been able to use both data and empathy in, in doing that. Could, how, how does Target uh, do some, collect some of their data in, in that way? Yeah, so I have a background in business intelligence, um, and I've actually been doing quite a bit of studying on measurement. Um, I started asking the question last year, actually, how can we measure impact? Um, so it led to kind of this interesting research, or a lot of studying on, you know, kind of proxies for measuring impact, which is very difficult to do. Um, and I love data in that it gives us kind of this non-emotional, non-biased way to understand what's happening. Um, and so one of the things that we've started to do or have challenged our teams to do is to actually start by getting quantifiable measures on what's happening across their products and their tools as a starting point to then understand where to dig deeper in talking to their users and starting to understand more about their worlds and their contexts in terms of prioritizing features, et cetera. And you, you mentioned proxies. And uh, lots of times, even in, in Agile, we often almost encourage the use of proxies. But uh, I think from your work and research, you found how potentially damaging proxies can be when it comes to, to feedback and, and um, understanding the users. Yeah, so it's actually really surprising. And I think we all have kind of learned this, right, as we've been on our own Agile transformation journeys that product owners really aren't uh, kind of the magic solution for lots of different reasons. But last fall, a few coworkers and I had the chance to sit down with Apple on their Cupertino headquarters. And during part of our time there, we met with their enterprise design services team at their design lab. Um, and they took us through the three-day journey that they kind of take companies on as those companies develop enterprise applications. And one of the team the things that the team shared was that on the first day, those teams do no design, they only talk to users. And the team further said that they insist that those companies bring in actual users, that Apple doesn't allow them to bring in proxies, so product owners or even managers anymore in place of users. And when I asked them why, they said that companies that bring in actual users are 50% more effective in the applications they design. And the way that they've measured that is actually by return trips to the design lab. And so companies that have brought in actual users, when they come back to the design lab, they're actually able to work on a second iteration or additional features to the original application they built versus those that brought in a proxy or a manager for the actual user have to spend time redoing what they delivered the first time to make it meaningful or valuable. And so so um, I found that really valuable and um, really insightful. And so we've been trying to figure out how to apply more of that in the work that we do at Target. So where do uh, teams and companies get started? How can they get started to incorporate some of these concepts in their workflow? Yeah, that's a great question. So the first thing I would say is um, if you have a thought on something that might be helpful, start by asking somebody and exploring, kind of testing out your hypothesis, right? Um, and, and don't just ask, really get into the world and work alongside of them. We had a really great team that has recently delivered a tool at our organization. And um, as a part of that launching experience, that team actually went to stores and worked alongside of the people that would be using the tool in the store. So there's some really great pictures of people on that team actually scanning projects at the, or scanning products at the register and figuring out how those handheld devices and the reports on those devices were going to work in the store. And so that's the first thing I would say is spend time in the world of your users. The second thing I would say is if you're going to build a product, build your instrumentation in with that product while you're building it. And so don't measure after that fact. Figure out what your value measures are up front. So about um, you, you know your usage metrics, kind of what your retention and value metrics will be, and what those quantification measures should look like. Um, and then know when your red flags are. So when when those health metrics drop below a certain number, know what action you're going to take to dig in and understand why those numbers are dropping down to understand more about the world. Right, and then use 
those numbers as a as an entry point to then start asking more meaningful questions with the uh, yep. with users. Exactly. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It was great to see you again at the conference, and uh, please enjoy the rest of uh, Agile India 2017. Thank, thank you, Joy. You.